giving a helping hand to those in need. My job is just to feed people and um, that's what we do. Tim Uthie and others will be deployed to the hurricane zone to help for two weeks. We're going into a hardship zone, so there'll be very little lodging, mostly cots. Uh, the food that we will eat will be the same food that we uh, give to the clients. 32 volunteers from the Cincinnati Dayton area Red Cross have been deployed to help. I'm 72, been retired from Cincinnati Bell for a while. What was my motivation? You know, I've had a pretty good life. And this is a way for me to give back to people that are in need. And that is the motivation for me. 20 vehicles just like this one will actually be coming from all over the country to try to help those impacted by Hurricane Dorian. Three will be coming from right here in Cincinnati, one coming from Dayton, and they'll act as a food truck. You're trying to drive through an area that's been devastated. And so it could be extremely tight trying to maneuver these things around in some of the areas we have to get into. We have to be careful of uh, high water. Volunteers say each disaster recovery is filled with life lessons. The biggest thing I have learned is you have to be patient. The beginning of a DR is like chaos out of confusion, so you have to be patient. Crews will arrive in Mobile, Alabama Tuesday to receive their assignment. Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.